In this video, I'm just going to walk through the simulation mode from API challenges, and I'm going to use Postman to do that. So the simulation mode is a set of hard coded uh, responses to specific requests in the API challenges. So it's a real API, but with hard coded data, and it will adapt a little bit to your responses, but not very much. So it's an easy way to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy the URL because there is no uh, official documentation or swagger file for the simulation because it's just intended for you to walk through a very simple text description, try the requests and see what happens. So in Postman, I will create a get request on the entities and send it through with no extra keys or headers. Send that through and we receive a set of entities coming back. And this tells me there's one to 10 entities in the system. Now, because the simulation is hard coded, some of these entities are reserved for particular requests, but the simulation will try and respond as best it can. So the next thing we have to do is get one of those values. So all I have to do is suggesting we get number one. So if I put number one, it should just return that single entity. Now the simulator will let me get number two, number three, number four. Um, Nine and 10 are reserved from other requests, so they won't match what's in the entities list. But one to eight, you can get them and practice getting individual items. Now, if I get one that doesn't exist, so I will get number 404 and send it, that entity doesn't exist, so we should receive a 404 status coming back, which we do. Um, and just in case you think it's the number that is making a difference, I'll send 403, 403 does not exist. We get a status code 404. So the simulator is helping us understand what happens when we try to retrieve things from the system that do not exist. Now I can post to create new items. So if I get rid of the entities and now I want to add in a body, so I will add in the hard coded JSON that is there. And the reason I'm using the JSON that is there, and I will set it to JSON. I'm using the value that's suggested on the page because this simulator is hard coded to respond with that data. I should really post it. So I post in that particular value and I see that we've created a new one with an ID of 11 called Bob. So if we've created that, I should be able to get that. So if I get number 11, we should see, there we go, it comes back with 11 and Bob. So that's working fine. Now I can amend an entity. So if I post to amend entity 10, which is what it says in the documentation, and I'll amend the name to be Eris and send that through, it's amended it from whatever it was, entity number 10 to Eris. Now the reason it's a simulator, I'm just gonna point this out, is if I actually did put in a different name, I would receive the simulated response back. So it's a simulator, not an actual real API. So you can get a feel for what that means. It means that if you're automating it, you will always get the same data back. So it's easy to add in assertions and validations and check that you know how to use the tool. Because really this is just a way of helping you learn how to use a particular tooling. So we can put to create an entity. So I'm going to put, uh, first of all, to amend the item. So if I change this to a put, then it will put it to 10 and it will respond with a, okay, I've just amended it back to Eris. There we go. And if I put into number 11 and say Bob, then we will, well, that's the response. I keep doing that when I use Postman. Put Bob, then it'll respond with, you created item 11, Bob we can delete an item. So I will delete number nine and it will tell me that it's a 204 with no content because we just deleted it. Uh, if I get, try and get that now, get number nine specifically, we should get a 404 because it could be found. So the simulation is there to help you get used to the tooling. It responds to hard coded data and should be good enough to help you get started without having to worry with other people using the API, changing the data under your feet. And it's just an easy way to get started.